the Suicide Squad on August 6th. I did for that. That actually looks fun. It looks I, fun. I think, that, I think that's going to be fun. It's the cast is freaking phenomenal. Like every single person in that movie, I'm so excited about. And um and and James Gunn, I I'm very curious to see what he does with it. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. Here's 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 a new theory I want to float. So because DC's movies are so terrible, and Zia would, uh, filled in as co-host last week on Would You Kindly with uh, Brian Johnson on vacation, we talked about the controversy of the Batman Catwoman for the Harley Quinn animated show that DC said Batman superheroes eat, don't do no this. Pussy. Yeah, he can't go down on, on Catwoman. What happened. That is such bullshit. They are millionaires in leather outfits with fucking masks made for going down each other. Yeah, like, that uh, is some if they're, bullshit. If they're, not, if they're not eating pussy, they're sucking dick. It's something. Exactly. <laughs> like, uh. Superheroes have come a long way. So, pun. So, here's the thing. So, DC is always man. having problems with their their movies right and even their tv shows are falling apart now the ones on the cw which were beloved arrow went off the air after what seven eight seasons it was on way too long and kept changing all the storyline flash is to stop flash is still on and i gave up on the flash it it, needs to stop way too fucking long the only thing i watched i loved the flash i did too and like last season killed it for me and i barely saw anything from this season uh i like uh uh, Legends of Tomorrow still because it's just weird little one-off stories. Um, I always like that show. The rest of the stuff I don't care. Supergirl, Star Girl, all that other stuff. I, Supergirl sucks a dick. Don't care. That's falling apart. Their te- their movies have obviously been falling apart. And then the comic book, which the comic book division is having a hard time. Like DC shut down a lot of the print stuff, so it's all going digital, which kind of happens but dc's just That's alone is, is having a lot of fucking problems digital. in every direction and the reason why a lot of the dc movies aren't good is because they don't plan it out right they put way too much power in these directors instead of having a team oversee a bigger picture for all of this shit yeah. and warner brothers keeps stepping in the execs from there every time they have a movie to make changes where like disney doesn't interfere with marvel at all they 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 they, they trust the team that, that's been making billions of dollars for every movie they made they come in like what are, what's the budget what are we doing here we go you need this kind of money here's the next five years planned out here's the next 10 years planned out all right go and do it and then disney doesn't interfere with it any uh, anymore they fund it they let it go and then they promote the fuck out of it market the fuck out of it dc doesn't have that so i had been saying for a while that i said at some point, it seems likely that DC is going to be sold. Like Warner Brothers isn't doing well, so DC they're going to let that property go. If Disney bought it, right? I think what they would do. Now that I'm thinking about it, you have Kevin Feige or Feige or whatever, however you pronounce Feige. his name. Feige, Feige, like the yogurt. Fragile, Kevin Fragile it handles Feige. all the Marvel. Nine. Handles all the Marvel stuff, right? Yeah. I wouldn't put it past them to offer Tim Gunn. It's like, hey, why don't you oversee the DC property? Like if Disney owned I, it, put him as the main guy in charge of all of that. I, I feel like that, that fits tonally because DC is, is they seem like they're trying to go the darker route, which is fine. I'm totally for that. I don't mind that at all. But if you're going to do it, do it right and don't make garbage. Anyway, I feel like he fits tonally DC very well because right. he can make those darker movies, but he also still injects that humor in there because he, do, he did a allow, really good job with yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. You can allow DC to be more fucked up because the more wholesome yes. and the more dark that DC, no one cares about Spy, uh, Superman. Even though they put him in the dark I never liked outfit, Superman. <clears throat> they haven't liked him since Christopher don't. Reeves. They, d- they don't like Superman because he can do everything and that's a little boring but they don't make him interesting he's still just it's like talking to a wall with all his dialogue uh Aquaman's a little bit interesting they, they, like they they've escalated him from what you know the terrible character he used to be Wonder Woman is doing all right Batman's gonna be nine different people as they go if they can just make it sort of uniform put Tim Gunn in there where he can make it dark, I mean, intense, but fucked up too. Like the dialogue's fucked up, weird shit's going on there. Let Marvel keep doing what they do. I think you got multi-billion dollar franchises all under the Disney umbrella. Yeah. In 100%. the next five to ten years, I think DC goes to Disney. I wouldn't put it past them to put Tim Gunn in charge of the DC operation. Just a thought. We'll see. Spectrum. I mean, Don't hate like, that it just idea. depends. It depends how long DC wants to hold out before they're just like, oh, let's just do it right instead of like constantly putting a band aid on a bullet wound. Like, just fucking well, they're not. fighting they're, they're, it over. Their next few movies that have been discussed, 
they're making Joker 2, which the Joker movie was... Te- yeah. I know it did well for them, but it was terrible. It wasn't... It, there was no need for that movie to be tied to the Joker at all. It just could have just been any, you know, fucking schizophrenic and sociopathic n- uh, nut job in that role. It didn't have to be the fucking Joker. Then you got, uh, which has potential, I'll give this the Batman, which is coming out in beginning I'm of 2022. I'm very curious. Yeah, it looks weird. It looks like a different take on a lot of this stuff, so I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. It doesn't look hokey. It just looks more complex. So I'm kind of interested in that. But then you got Shazam 2, which is coming out in the next I year or two. I like Shazam a Shazam lot. Shazam was fine. That's more of a kitty in a, in a family direction for very, that just stuff. Just very fun. Right. But everything else, Wonder Woman 84 was fucking terrible. Oh, God. You know, Aquaman 2 is, is getting a lot of heat because they still have, what's her name in the in the role? Amber Heard is yeah. still in there. And they're protesting to try to get her kicked out of uh, of the movie. And, uh, yeah, there's just a lot of other problems with all their other stuff. Everything that they're talking about, no one cares about. Or nobody has any faith. I'll say nobody has any faith that they'll do justice by what's coming out there. That's the problem. Well, they don't have a track record of putting out good shit. I, I, there's no reason to not like question it. You know what I mean? Like, right. Well, that's my prediction. I hope uh, DC gets sold, Disney buys it, and they put Tim Gunn in charge of it so that you have two huge entities. Because look at it. If they can get a, uh, a whole phase of stuff done under the Disney umbrella, eventually you'll have the fucking crossover, which will be huge. Yeah. Huge to get all that done. But what do I know? We just do a dumb radio show.